Tourism Revenue and Customs, HMRC, recently announced that it will start writing to thousands of older people this autumn who may have been underpaid their state pension due to missing information on their national insurance NIE, record. The issue affects mostly women in their 60s and 70s who may have Home Responsibilities Protection HRP, missing from their knee record. The Department for Work and Pensions DWP, and HMRC are working together to find people affected and correct their records so they receive the right amount of state pension. However, former Liberal Democrat Pensions Minister Sir Steve Webb said that, because HMRC is having to make an educated guess as to which groups of people are most likely to be affected, it appears likely that not all of those who are being underpaid will receive a letter. This means some people may be dependent on seeing general publicity and proactively putting in a claim. If someone was underpaid but has since died, their next of kin would need to make a claim, find out more about this on Gov. UK here. Home Responsibilities Protection was a scheme designed to help protect parents and carers' entitlement to the state pension and was replaced by knee credits from April 6, 2010. HMRC is using knee records to identify as many people as possible who might have been entitled to HRP between 1978 and 2010 and have no HRP on their knee record. After May 2000, it became mandatory to include a knee number on claims so people claiming after this point will not have been affected. It is estimated that tens of thousands of people are due an average of £5,000 in back payments. The National Audit Office NAO, which scrutinizes public spending for Parliament, previously said it is estimated that 210,000 people have been underpaid £1. 3 billion of state pension due to historical issues relating to HRP, but it said the estimate from the DWP is very uncertain and could range from £310 million to £1. 5 billion. Sir Steve highlighted the case of a 74-year-old woman living in Cornwall, who was being paid a state pension based on her knee contributions and heard about HRP earlier this year. She made inquiries and was told by HMRC that she had been awarded HRP from 1978-79 to 1988-89. Although she was working for some of these years, most of them were blanks on her new record, so HRP for those years would improve her state pension. She contacted Sir Steve, who took up her case, and she has now received an increase to her state pension plus a lump sum of nearly £17,000 for the previous underpayments. Sir Steve, who is now a partner at consultants LCP, Lane Clark and Peacock, said, It is truly shocking that so many people have been underpaid because of errors on their national insurance record for time at home with children. It is even worse that tens of thousands of people, mostly mothers, died without ever receiving the correct state pension. The DWP state pension correction exercise has identified that 10 million national insurance records of people claiming universal credit have not been updated properly and a small proportion of these, 210,000, may have also been underpaid their state pension. A UK government spokesperson said, We have identified and are correcting an issue related to the historical recording of home responsibilities protection on the national insurance records for people who first claimed child benefit before May 2000. Most people's records will be unaffected, and we have launched a new online tool to help people check whether they need to claim. HMRC will also begin writing to those likely to be affected this autumn. Our priority is ensuring everyone receives the financial support to which they are entitled, and state pension underpayment rates due to official error remain low at zero. 5% of expenditure.
where errors do occur, we are committed to fixing them as quickly as possible. HMRC will start contacting those affected in order of how close they are to state pension age, people over state pension age will be contacted first. DWP will recalculate the state pension entitlement and let people know whether they are due any arrears. State Pension Underpayment Progress, March 2023 Payments made between January 2021 and March 2023 are listed below. Married, Cat BL, Cases Reviewed, 89,291 Underpayments Identified 24,533 average arrears, £6,552 total amount repaid, £16 million widowed cases reviewed, 124,756 underpayments identified, 10,612 average arrears, £11,658 total amount repaid, £122 million over 80, Cat D. Cases reviewed, 49,303 underpayments identified, 15,424 average arrears, £2,644 total amount repaid, £41 million get the latest record money news Join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on Twitter at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Who might be due back payments for state pension? There are six particular groups strongly encouraged to contact the pension service to see if they could be entitled to more state pension. Married women whose husband turned 65 before March 17, 2008, and who have never claimed an uplift to the 60% rate widows whose pension was not increased when their husband died widows whose pension is now correct, but who think they may have been underpaid while their late husband was still alive particularly if he reached the age of 65 after March 17, 2008 over 80s who are receiving a basic state pension of less than £80. 45 Widowers and Heirs of Married Women, where the woman has now died but was underpaid state pension during her lifetime divorced women, particularly those who divorced after retirement. To check that they are benefiting from the contributions of their ex-husband you can also find full guidance on transferring basic state pension payments on Gov. UK here. How to check if you are affected or make a claim there are now 12. 6 million people across Great Britain claiming state pension, including more than 1 million in Scotland. Of that overall total, 9.7 million are in receipt of the basic state pension and 2. 9 million on the new state pension. The basic state pension is worth up to £156. 20 each week and the new state pension up to £203.85. A phone call to the pension service is the quickest way to find out if you are eligible for a state pension refund. The best number to call is 0800-731-0469 but full contact details can be found on the Gov. UK website here.